na 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 Some folks say, you want to really see the country? Take a bus or hop a train. Like John Goodman's family. Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. Parking space and lots of cocoa. Ah, <sighs> there's nothing like the first snow of the season. And believe you me, nobody loves it any more than the folks of Beansboro. They've got this annual carnival, you see, and I've been coming to it since I was snow cone. Ollie, why aren't you playing outside? Wasn't invited. Neither was I, but it's excellent packing. Let's go outside and make a fertility goddess. What? Just your basic everyday cut off your head in three strokes handsaw. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, no, you don't. You want to take something, take the tie. Unless you think I need it. I'd well dress for this winter carnival anyway. I mean, I don't want to underdress. But if I could get away with a tank top or something more cash. Who are you? The name... Uh, I'm Holly. No. Holly knew she had to do something fast if she wanted to protect Frosty. Yes! Why weren't you at elf practice? No! No! The best kind of magic that only winter brings comes in a big snowy bundle that dances and sings. Why weren't you at elf practice? Oh, not this again. No. Can somebody give me a B-flat? And so the folks of Beansboro got their winter carnival after all. A tradition was saved. Summer wheeze was perfectly canned, and Mr. Twitchell decided to make sleds instead of trouble. He should have known he was no match for Mother Nature, or a little girl like Holly. Next stop, Winnipeg. Nice town, plenty of parking space, and lots of cocoa. Everyone died. The end. A snow cone.